Fremont High V. This is Michelle. How can I help you? Hey, Michelle. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin your day, and I don't want to freak you out or anything, because I'm cool. Like I'm a nice guy and everything, and I, I don't, I don't mean anything, anything bad or any ill will. But would there be a way? Because I was going to come down there and do some shopping. Mm-hmm. Would you be able to warn the employees that I'm coming? I don't want to catch them off guard, you know. Who is this? Oh, my name's Brad. Um, why would you catch anybody off guard? I'm well, just if that if following. you if you warn them, if you warn all the employees first and tell them that I'm coming down to do shopping, just regular shopping, you know, nothing weird. I'll have uh-huh. regular shoes and pants and shirt for service and all of that. Um, but just give them a warning. I don't want them to be caught off guard. Because if they don't know that I'm coming, then maybe they'll still see me, whoa, 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 you know, and they'll drop something, or I don't want to startle anybody, or anything like that. Okay. So you'll warn I, them? I, I, well, you, uh, you'll yeah, let them know. But don't scare yeah. them, okay? Because just like okay. how I, remember how I did with you when I told you not to be scared? Oh, weapons. I don't have any weapons, too, so that's nothing to worry about. Okay, you're yeah, good. Yeah, see, so tell, make okay. sure you tell them all of that stuff, and make sure you, you make sure that they're not scared. Because I want to warn them, but I don't want to scare them. Do you look scary? Is that what it is? <laughs> well, no, that's kind of rude. You know, I'm a, I'm a little. I don't ugly, know. But... I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't. Well, I... just me. That's all. I'm saying if okay. I just. Okay. What if? Let's say this. That you're at your house. It's two in the morning, and then you look up, and all of a sudden, I'm there. You would be. You would be startled, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. I got you. That's all what right. I'm saying. I don't. I want to warn yeah. them. I want them to be warned, okay. and so they know, and they know that I'm coming. Okay. I all got right. you, sir. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for calling our street heavy. This is Elena. How my director call? Hey, hey, Elena, would you be able to warn the staff? Um, can you warn them that Scotty's coming down to shop? Um, sure. Sure can. Okay. And then that won't be a problem, will it? Um, no, it shouldn't be. Okay, because that's, I'm Scotty. I'm Scotty. I'm coming down to shop. Okay. But don't scare them. I don't good. want. I don't want you to scare them. Just I don't want. I, that's the whole point. Is I don't want them to be scared at all. So when you pull them, I don't want you to pull them aside and read them the riot act and make them think that they're in danger. Cause Scotty's no danger. You know I'm cool. Okay, sounds good. I'll let so, them know. but war, I don't want them to be. If, when I get down there, I don't want them to be like, whoa, you know, where, where, why are you here? I want them to know ahead of time. Give them ample warning, ample, ample time to react. I want everyone to be on the same page, and I want everyone to know that Scotty's coming down. Give them a warning. Okay, I will. Can you I will do? do that. Can you do? You have the ability. Um, can you patch me through to the PA? I'll just let them know. I'm. I'm not able to do that actually. Sorry about that. Well, is there? Okay, is there? What? Is, what do you push? Push some numbers, and then I can talk on the the loudspeaker. No, I can't. I can't do that. Well, Sorry. okay. Well, you tell them then. You'll tell them over the loudspeaker. Scott, he's coming down I'll to let shop. Them know. Warning. And, but, yeah. I mean, at that point, if you want to warn the customers, um, that's on you. I'll let you, but I want the staff to know that Scotty's coming down to shop. Okay, I'll let them know. I'll have my best pants on. All right. I got them pressed, and I haven't worn them since I got them back from the cleaner. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you, and don't be scared. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it. Scotty's coming down to shop. Okay, sounds right. good. I you love you. Make sure pay, 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 page them. Uh, tell the manager. Thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, I you love you. Night. I love you. I'll see you in a few. Bye. Scotty, come. Hello, thank you for calling Williamsburg. Hi, V. This is Joel. How can we help you today? Hey, Joel. Um, is there a way that I can make an announcement to the staff on duty or, or to let them know something? I want to warn them that Scotty's coming down to do some shopping. Uh, hold one moment. Wait, what am I holding for? Uh, I'm giving you to the manager so they can do well, it. Uh, well, can you, will you tell the manager as you're giving them the phone, will you let them know that Scotty's coming down to do some shopping? Sure. Scotty's coming down, so I, I just don't want you guys to be caught like unawares and 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 uh, to yep. get surprised that way. Yep. Hold on a moment. Give him a warning. Thank you for holding. My name is Callie. How can I help you? Did she warn you? Anything else? What's up? Did they warn you? Did she warn you before she gave you the phone? Or did he warn you? I'm sorry. Uh, no, I I wasn't given any sort of notice. You were supposed to get okay. Um, who is the gentleman who handled the phone call immediately uh, uh, before? Because he was supposed to give you a warning. Oh, uh, that would have been Joel, our customer service. Well, he's screwing up because he was supposed to warn you. Scotty's coming down. Scotty's coming down to do some shopping, and I want everyone to be warned about this. Okay. Thank you. 
Perfect. Thank so you for letting you, me what, know. How will you do it? How? Because I don't want you to scare them. That's the whole point. I don't want anyone to be scared. I don't understand what you're looking for, sir. No, Scotty. I'm giving you a warning. Scotty's coming down. Scotty's going to do some shopping. Okay. Yeah. And well, I, wanna, I appreciate I wanna, the warning. I, well, I don't want to scare no one. Just give them, give them time to react. Give them ample, like, uh, if there's a way to post it or, or put it up or something, or if you can get on the Sadly, I can't do any sort of announcement for something like that. Why not? Because I can't give any sort of specific announcements for specific customers that that knows if it's not important. Well, it is important. I want them to be warned. What if, okay, because I'm Scotty, and now if I show up there and they don't know that I'm coming, then what am I supposed to do? I told you I to warn them. I guess you're just going to have to stop. I told you to warn them, though. Okay, who am I warning, though, sir? All the employees. You warn them Scotty's coming down for some shopping time. Okay, well, I will go ahead and let them know then. I hope you have a wonderful night. Hello, thanks for calling Model 6 in Vanford. How can I help you? What? Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah. Uh, would, I, would I call you? Uh, are you at the front desk? Like, who, like, who do I um, let know that I'm coming down there? Like, who do I give warning to? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you're coming. I mean, you're, you're having a reservation? Uh, you know, I almost want to give them warning that I'm coming, that Scotty's coming. Oh, and they give them okay. warning. Are you at the front desk? Who is at the front desk? Uh, the, I got to I mean, give the them warning. It will be changed at the front desk. So you told them in the morning? No, no, Scotty. I gotta let them know Scotty's coming down. Scotty's coming to the hotel. Scotty's coming. Uh, who is Scotty? I'm Scotty. Okay. You, uh, you're coming, I mean, you're walking in for the ch- check-in? In the I'm gonna be coming in there, and I'm gonna be, you know, I'm, but I'll be coming in there. I'll be okay, walking no in problem. there. Okay. Walking sure. right in there. I'm gonna be walking straight in there. Okay. I was going to, you know, how do you give them warning like that? I want to give them ample warning. Warning? To whom? I, every, I just, I, who else? I mean, who, what am I supposed to do? Uh, why you want to give warning? The, the Scotty's coming. Scotty needs a room. Okay. You can tell me. Uh, I mean, you can do the reservation. Is that like, like a... Sorry? Reservation? You said like a reservation? Yes. Like a war- that's like a warning, right? If you want to check in, if you want a reservation, I'll just stand for you for the reservations. They'll help you out. It's like a warning, though. Like you, you're going to give me one warning. You're going to give me one warning? One morning? Is that what okay. you're s- You want for one night? No, you're giving me a warning. I didn't give you any warning. You gave me a warning. No. Yeah, you said you're giving me one one warning. One warning is what you said. What's one warning? You want reservation no, one for warning. one night? I what did I do to get like one warning? You just uh, I, you just come here. I'll I'll just help you out. Then then you'll yell at me. Then you can yell at me. Sorry. Am I? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you speaking about? No, you're saying you gave me a warning. No, I didn't tell you. What? Yeah, you gave me one warning, and I didn't I'm sorry. Give you any warning? No, I said I was sorry. But why? You're giving me a warning. No, I didn't give you any warning. Whatever you gave me the warning for, I'm sorry. Whatever I, you know, you gave me one warning. I don't want any more warnings. I can't understand what you're telling. No, you, the warning. The warning? Warning. What do you need? What do you need? What, no, what do you... Back up. Hold on. You, I was asking you, but then you gave me a warning. When? Why did you give me... Uh, when you said you gave me a warning. You said it right there. You just said it, you gave me a warning. You said one warning. I didn't tell you anything. Are you going to call my parents then, or what's going on? Sorry? No, I'm sorry.
Hello, Mortal Six, how can I help you? Hi, how are you? Are you the front desk? Yes. Is there a way that I could issue a warning to the other guests? And I want to be clear, this is not a threat. There's nothing violent going on. I just want to I want to give them all a warning. What uh, room are you in? Well, no, it's not for my room. I want to give a warning to all the guests. Can you just tell everyone here, like, I don't know if you can call all the room phones at once or something. Just tell them I've had it with their shit. Who are you? What's I'm a guest. Well, I'm a guest here. I just want to give a warning. But I to need them. to know what's the trouble. Who's trouble? Well, I've had it. I just I've had it with everyone's shit, and that goes for everyone. That's why I'm saying if you could just issue a blanket warning to everyone. And again, I'm not. You know, this is not a threat. You know, there's be very clear with them that you know nothing violent, nothing like that. No, so I need um, to know which side of the. I just want to like a ver- oh like a verbal warning. Yes. I want to give them like so a hang verbal. On. Hang on, hang on. I want to give them a warning. We are giving warning to whom? All of the guests. Just tell them I've had it. I can't it. call I've everybody and give shit. warnings to everybody in the room. Just yeah, so warn- I need to know whom whom I'm talking to. Well, you can you can tell them. You can call me Brad if you want to. You need to give me the room number. No, I don't want anyone coming up to my room and giving me shit. I've had it with their shit. I don't want it. I don't want them coming up here. I don't want people saying, oh, I didn't like your the warning. I'm going to come and knock on your door. I don't want okay. that. Just warn them. Okay, Just tell them, fine. knock yeah. it off. I've had it. I've had it with their shit, okay? Thank you. How can I help you? Hi, yeah. Uh, are you familiar? Hello? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Hi, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, are you familiar with the Groundhog from Groundhog's Day? Mm, Groundhog's Day? Are you familiar with the ground, the, the ground vermin, the groundhog machine? No, I don't. I'm not familiar. You know, okay. We have. Um, he's somewhere. We're not really sure. He's somewhere here. We're not really sure. He got away. Sir. The groundhog. The groundhog is. Yeah. The groundhog is. The groundhog is loose in Motel Six. Groundhog is used in Motel 6? He's in the Hotel 6. I don't know about it, sir. He No, he's in there. He's in there right now. He saw a shadow and he ran like he ran back in. He got scared, ran back inside. He's all over the place now. There's a groundhog. Sir, Where? the groundhog. We brought him inside because you know, he saw his shadow and then he ran away. Which room are you in, sir? All, like, all of them. What do you mean, which room? Sir, I'm not getting what are you saying. Can you, can you come down to the front desk? Can you these numbers aren't the in the desk? same language, sir. These numbers are in Spanish. I don't know how to. Bre- like, what do you want me to say? Can you come down to the front desk once, sir, so that we can talk? I'm not, I'm not. The voice is not clear. Can you come down to the front desk? Okay, hang on. The groundhog. Okay. The groundhog. Do you know what the groundhog? Well, oh, he doesn't know. Thank you for calling to Six and Stay. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, yeah. Um, I everything's great, and I'm having a good time, and everything. I'm up in the room. Um, I'm just now realizing. Uh, I don't think they have actually ever assigned me like an actual number. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have like a number. I don't know what room are you in. Can I have your first and last name, please? Oh no, you mean you guys have all that on file and everything, and I'm like, I'm, like everything is fine, and just you didn't assign me a number, or who no, you or whoever. I mean, no, they didn't assign me a number, like just a number. What number? The room number. I, I was never given it. I was just never. I never wrote it down. It wasn't like, given to me on a card. I mean, I'm. I, I don't. I, I never was given the n- actual number. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Do you know what time you checked in? I can help you with that. Well, can't you just tell me like what it is? Like I don't see what the big it's deal so is. You have everything on file. Every, it's funny how you're trying to scam. Have a great day. Bye. Excuse. Thank you for calling uh, Red Lion Hotel. This is Sydney. Sydney, I really hate to be like a complaining customer p- guy uh, person, but uh, everything's really overall, I'd say it's nine out of ten. Everything is great. You know, the room has been great. Everything. I'm not. Um, 
I, I think you guys might have screwed up, though, because I'm just realizing now, like, normally, you know how you check in, like, a, a Motel 6 or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, you know, you're in room 215 or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think you guys actually ever gave me a number. Um, what was your name? Well, you should have that. Don't you have that, like, when I check in? Because I showed my ID and all of that already. So I sh- really, I feel like you, I God, I really don't want to be like that, but I feel like you guys screwed up. And I, it shouldn't really be on me. Um, like, if you could just, you, you like, give me my, give me a room number, or give me a number, or whatever the number is, rather than me having to jump through all these hoops. No, um, I don't know your name. What is your name? Well, it isn't okay. What, what's the point of me giving you the ID when I check in then? You don't even, um, what, you don't I write don't it down. You don't, ID. you don't look at it. None of that. No, we do look at the IDs when you do check in, but I don't okay. keep your ID. Well, I, I'm saying, okay, I you know. How like have you ever when you get pulled over when you're speeding and then they take your ID they don't after they look at your ID they don't ask you your name over and over and over again so I don't understand why you're asking I already gave my ID I don't understand why you're asking my name I just wanted to get the room number so I can because every other than that everything is good here um, I do have some other I have some other shit I need to get done so if we could just if you could just give me the room number. Sir, I don't know how to help you. I don't know your name. I can't find you in my system. Just look at it. I Can you, do you not have the comp- like with the keyboard and everything where you type on it? I do. Yeah, type it like but type in or whatever. I don't know how I to do your job. Your I'm sorry. I don't know how to do your job, but just I would really appreciate it if if you could use the computer and like type it in to give me a room number, please. Well, I can't give you a room number if I don't know your name, sir. Why? All right. So then, what are you saying? What then? What happened when I gave you the ID? What was that for? You you never answered that question. I mean, you keep coming back around to it. Sir, I don't have I don't have your ID. I can't. You I had it though. I don't. You had it. I you don't had have it. Your ID. Well, you had it. You had your, your chance. Why didn't you write down my name if it's so important? I don't understand why you take my ID and you don't even you don't even bother to know my name from it. Sir, I don't have your ID. I don't know who you are. Can you look? You should have a record or something. You may have read a copy of it. Thank you for calling the red line in Eureka. This is Nathan. How can I help you? Can you tell that lady I'm sorry? Um, It turns out that my room number was written on the outside of my door. So. Okay. Yeah, that was a misunderstanding. I just didn't realize. And then, because it matches, I, you know, they always tell, I guess I must have just forgot, because I don't think any, there's no other way I would have been able to get in here if you hadn't given me the number, so. Right. Okay, and exactly. it was written on the sleeve for the key as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then that then that works then, and then she should be okay then, right? Yeah, she's not okay. Oh, she was crying. Okay, well, tell her, tell her she solved the problem after all, so thank you. Mm-hmm. I love you. Thank you for calling the Reading Red Lion. This is Russell. Russell, um, everything's good and everything, but I just don't have my. You guys never assigned me like a number, like an actual Excuse number. Me? Like, nobody ever assigned me a number. A number for what, sir? Like the room, like the room number, phone number, like any none of the number. Okay, are you checked into the hotel? Oh yeah, I'm, I got I got everything set up. I'm like everything's good. It just I was never like it's not written down. It's not like it was never told to me. It was never. It okay, was never you're at the Red Lion. You're at the Red Lion yes. Hotel. Yes. Yes. On, I am. On yes. hilltop across the street from Applebee's. Yes. Okay. Well, let me put you on a brief hold. Let me see. Let me pull it up. Why? Oh my Excuse God. Excuse me. You put me at a hold. What do you mean? You I'm with the guest right now, sir. I'm with the guests right now. Let you me give the them directions guests to right his now. room. Tell them. You're going to give them directions to their room? Thank you for contacting Millennium Man. It's Kiana speaking. How may I help you? Uh, okay. Um, well, I need to know, um, can we get like a room or is there like specific rooms? Like if there's going to be like a lot of crying happening? Why is going to be a lot of crying happening? It, well, is, well, there are a lot of sad stuffs going on. There's going to be a lot of crying. Um, I don't know if you need. Like, do we have to tell you like ahead of time? Like, or is it? Are all the rooms 
Okay, I I don't I don't know what your rules are. There's going to be a lot of cry, just a lot of crying. Why? It I mean a lot of bad stuff was happening. I mean, do, do you need to know specifically why there's a lot of crying? Yes, because it might you might be in there hurting somebody. So yes, I do. Why? No, I mean, like, why would you think that? Like, this is just like regular crying. Well, um, yeah, I will. I will There's just a lot of bad things know. happening, and everyone's really sad. Yeah, I don't know. Right. It was a problem with it while well, crying, but you, I mean, well, you, you mentioned it, so you know. A lot of crying. There's gonna be a lot of crying. Oh, but crying also means pain and hurt. You know, so someone could be in danger. So that's why I was asking, what? Why are you going to be crying? Which is a lot of, a lot of, well, like from a lot, like a lot of people, not a lot of people, but all of us, all the people involved, like everybody involved, just a lot of crying. Okay, so how many people are you going to have in one room, sir? Well, four, the standard four people, like crying, like four people crying in a room. Okay, so four people crying in a room, you definitely need a double. Okay. Does it matter? Like, do we have to have a specific double somewhere? Like, can we cry in any of the rooms? You can cry wherever you want, sir. I mean, this is a free country still. Um, as long as you're not hurting anybody, why are you crying? Okay? I don't know. Are we not, not allowed to cry? Oh, well, you're definitely allowed to do whatever you like, sir. That's I mean, it sounds like you're telling it. me... You're telling me like you you're not really liking this crying thing and you you want us no, to stop. No, I, I definitely don't have a problem with your crying thing, sir. But I'm just saying, if you was going to be calling, well, it sounds like you don't want us to. It sounds like you don't want us to cry. It sounds like you don't want us to cry. Um, well, sir, I didn't say that. You can cry. That's a normal emotion. Oh, are you sure? I mean, before it just a second ago, you're saying I couldn't cry. Like, what are you doing with all this crying? What are you doing? Why are you crying? Who are you crying for? No, no, that's not my business. Who you crying for? I said, as long as you're not hurting anybody at my hotel, I have no problem with you crying. This is crying. Why do you like immediately think we're just? No, we're, this is crying. This is just regular crying. Okay, are you are you finished being bored now? Are you finished? Can they? Are you can done? We, oh. Are you done? Are you done? I'm just asking. Are you done? Yeah. Have a nice day. I'm done. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you for calling the Red Lion. This is Susan. How can I Susan, help you? Susan, do you have a, oh, um, like an extra Gatorade lid? Um, I was having a fruit punch up in the room, and I lost the lid, and I don't want to spill this stuff on the sheets. I do not have an extra lid. Well, okay. What do you got then? Um, I could use some saran wrap, maybe. But that's not going to keep it fresh, though. I mean, what, a saran wrap in well, a rubber band? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Well, do you have a Gatorade down there that you're um, almost not. done with? I do not. We don't okay. have anything in the lobby anymore. What the fuck? All right. Like, all the Gatorade sizes, they're all the same lid, so all we got to do is find a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, it's, okay, if it, if it was, like, the white or, or um, like, one of the clear, like, the ones that are more clear, I wouldn't be that worried about it. Um, but this yeah. is, like a, like, a fruit punch, like a red one. Right. I don't want to yeah. spill that. That would be a fee, wouldn't know. it? What's that? If I spill red Gatorade, that would end up in some some kind of... I'm sure you would find some way to rope me into a fee. Yep, it would be if you That's spilled it up. all over the then floor. Even though, seat. okay, can we take a note? Will you make a note that you guys uh, refuse to give me a lid for it? And that's not going to make a difference because it's not our liability. Well, for if you gave, you I'm saying, all right, I don't think you understand what I'm putting down here. Because if you gave me a lid, I'd put the lid on it, and then. Um, well, I'm sorry, I'm not responsible to provide you with a lid for your Gatorade. Well, all right, let's let's. Can we blame it on housekeeping? Can we say housekeeping took my lid? No, I cannot. Well, how, I'm I can I I can housekeeping took my lid, so it's their fault then. You can say that, but you will still be charged. Not if it doesn't spill, I won't get charged. Am I going to get No, you will not. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Um, if you don't spill it, that is fine. But if you spill it, you're still liable. Can we make it like some type of a deal on this? Just if I don't pu- spill your Gatorade, well, I can't do nothing about it. If I pour it out, will you give me $2 and I can go get a new one? No, I don't even have to. Oh, $2. shit. Okay, if I bring it down to the front, will you hold it? Will you wait while I go to the store and get a new Gatorade, and then we can take the lid off I of that? I can do that. I can put it in okay, the refrigerator right. behind well, don't, me. I, I don't want me. it to spill, though, so don't spill it, okay? <laughs> 
Okay. All right, and then I'll go get a new Gatorade, and we can take the lid off of that one, and then we'll throw that one away. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you for calling Maverick Casino and Hotel. This is Eduardo speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Eduardo. Um, is it going to be a problem um, uh, if I if I uh, if I end up doing a lot of crying while I'm down there? Uh, say that again, sorry. If I'm going to be, if I, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of crying while I'm staying here. We don't have the The restaurant. A lot of it's, it's cutting you know, out for some reason. Give my cables. I'm, there's a lot of. I'm going to be doing a lot of crying while I'm staying here. Um, crying? Crying, yeah. Uh, I, just, I, I just want to make sure you guys, everything's fine. I'm just going to be doing a lot of crying while I'm here. I I think it's fine. I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, you know, I just didn't want to be a problem or anything if I'm just going to be doing a lot of crying. I mean, as long as you don't disturb the other well, yet. I think it should be fine. I shouldn't disturb anybody. I just I'm gonna be doing a lot of crying and, and just didn't want to make anybody upset. No, you should be fine. It's okay. I'm gonna just stay in my room and cry. Can I cry in like the public areas, or do I have to stay in the room? Or uh, I'm uh, I'm not sure. Like. If it counts as, as long as it's not bothering anyone, I'm not 100%. That's I'm just soft crying. Uh, I think you should be fine. Okay, if I cry softly in the corner, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, is, is as there long as it's. No, I just didn't want her to be a problem. No, nah, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, thank you. Not a problem, thank you. Uh, I love you. Thank you for calling your Stacey Lane hy This is Tessa. May I help you? Tesla, okay, this is a little bit weird, but I had been down there shopping, and um, I had asked one of the boys uh, where some cereal boxes were. And um, he had helped me out. And at the time, I didn't think anything because he told me something. And it wasn't until I got home with uh, my girlfriend's roommate is here. And he was like, no, you should call him back and tell him what he said. Because um, he told he told me that he wasn't going to be coming into work tomorrow. And he was he was letting me know he was calling off. And I thought it was just like a goof or whatever. But my girlfriend's roommate said that, like, I should really I should let you guys know just so he doesn't get in trouble. Do you know who it was? I Sorry, I don't. No, I don't know. But he told me, he was like, yeah, I'm not going to make it into work tomorrow. Hmm. And, so, but do you know about what time it was? This was at like, this was earlier in the day. Um, This was like, f- oh, like three o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock. Okay. I'll let a manager know. Well, I don't want him to get in trouble because I, I don't know what your guys' policies are like. But um, it's not like he didn't report it to someone because he did tell me, you know. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying, though? Sure. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I don't yeah. want to get I don't want to get in trouble if they're gonna be. Like, and he oh, just he... helped you find some cereal boxes. I was getting some cereal boxes, yeah, and he helped me with that. And then he's like, oh, by the way, I'm not gonna make it into work tomorrow. And at the time, I was like, oh, what, you know, whatever. Uh, but then, like, was I it said, in the I... cereal aisle. It was by the. Well, he showed me where it was. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. okay. All right, and then um, what'll what'll become of him? Oh yeah, I'm not sure. I'll well, declare I... manager. Oh, I don't want him to get in trouble. Oh, I don't think he'll get in trouble. Do I have to come? Do you want me to come in to bear witness or anything? No, nope, that's okay. Okay, so the, this testimony's good enough then. Yeah. Th- all right, thank you then. And then that, all right, thank you. That makes me feel better. Okay, great. Have a great night. I love you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good evening, Red Line Union Suites. How can I help you? Hi. Um. Listen, I didn't want to like cause like a problem or anything, but I was just looking to see if like like where we where do we go, um like to do like some crying. I'm sorry. Like if uh, a couple of us are, we're, we're gonna be do like we're gonna be doing some crying, like you know, t- tears from the eyes and the th- things of that nature. Or where like where do we go for that? Uh, I am not sure where do you want to go. This is a hotel. Can I help you? 
But that yes, yes. Where where do we go in the hotel? Like where do we go? Where do you guys want us to cry? Maybe in your room. We have to go in the room. If you have the room here. Then you have to go in the room then. I'm sorry. I'm not really understanding. You're looking for a place to cry. Are you the guest of the property or are you looking to rent something? Oh, yeah, we're guests, but... What's the room like, number we, you're calling? Well, we have to go back to each of our individual room numbers to cry. We don't have... A, we can't cry together somewhere. We don't have any space. I don't know what you mean. A it's crying space. No, Just the space to cry. Space. Where no, anywhere we can be at the can we cry at the front? Can we just c get together at the front and cry? No, you cannot. There's not gotta be like a room somewhere. We can just cry together. Maybe, maybe outside. Can we cry in the fr like outside in the front? Uh, no, not from in front of the door. But if you wanna cry somewhere else in the road, that's up to you. Oh I, no, we can just get together. Number? What's we could just cry in the parking lot. Sir. What about in the parking lot? I think yeah, you just do in the have to lot. call 911, okay? Just call 911. Have a good day. 5-1. Good evening, Redline and Sweets McMinnville. It's Nick speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Nick. Um, I'm up in the room. Do you know if there's a way to win against a bed, or is it always going to be like a draw? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I'm in the room. I'm trying to do like versus the bed. Is that? I mean, that's worked before. I tried it before, and it worked pretty good, so I thought I'd do it here. Um, Trying to do what? No, ver like, oh, you know how you go, like, versus, uh, like, uh, M Michael Jordan versus Larry Bird, or, like, uh, I don't know, something like that. You know what I mean? Like, to go against, or, like, uh, so like Ken and, and versus Street Fighter, or, you know, how they, they do that. Not right off the top. Oh, like, versus. Like, when two teams or two entities are versus once to another. Um, I was thinking if I could just maybe if I just gave it like gave the gave the bed what it wants, um, but I don't know what it wants either. Give the bed what it wants. Yes. I I'm not tracking. But I'd like to win. So are you betting on something? No, 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 no. Bed, B E D, the bed. I'm sorry. You must have misheard oh. me. No, I'm trying to win against the bed. You're trying to win against the bed. Like verse, like in verses, yes. I, I still don't. I'm, I'm not. What? It. That's what I'm saying. Is I don't know what to do. If, if, like, if, do you know what the bed wants, or what do I? Should I make, like, do I make, like, push the sheets around, or make the bed, or something? Is it not made? The housekeeping usually would do that, wouldn't they? If I asked them so to. So we we do it by request. Right. Um, that's what I said. If I asked them to, they'd do it. Is yeah. That, and then then and then I win. Well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you'd have a, a made bed, but I don't know about winning. That's what I mean, though. I, if that's how I win, then yeah, then I'd like to schedule that. But if that's not how I win, no, I don't. I'd rather just make the bed myself. Well, either either or, it's a matter of personal preference. I mean, if you'd like me to to get a hold of the housekeeper in your region and uh, let them know you want your bed made, I can. That's is that? I I don't want the. God damn it! Okay, you're not listening. I I'm not um, understanding. I'm uh, I'm I'm hearing like a versus thing and. and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, like okay, in wrestling, you know how the one guy has to pin the other guy down and they count they count to it. You know, that's how you win in wrestling. No, I get that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's got to be a there's got to be a way to win against this bed, but I can't figure it out. Yeah, I, I don't know how you win against a bed, man. That's what I'm saying. And my only thought was to give it what it wants, but I don't know. I don't know what the bed wants. Yeah, I don't know what the bed wants either. I mean, aside from somebody sleeping on it that pays their bill. Is that what I do then? Hypothetically, yeah. I don't want. I'm not talking hypotheticals, man. That's how you get yourself into trouble. Well, um, yes and no, possibly. Yes, no, maybe. Uh, again, yes, that, no, that, that and maybe. That's how the hypothetical territory. Okay, the That's road a to hell. Of a hypothetical. The road to hell is paved with maybes. No, oh, I thought it was good intentions, but yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night, then. Pendleton, we're lying. How can I help you? Yeah, hey, uh, one of my buddies here said it was safe. Um, I, I could eat the toilet paper. Is that true? Like, would it get me sick or anything? Could you say that again? But, well, one of my friends said, like, it's safe to eat the toilet paper that's from here and that, like, you don't get sick for, you know, or anything on it. Is that true? Um, whatever you want to do. I'm Personally, I can't tell you yes or no. Well, am I going to get sick from it? Like I would it's hope safe not. to eat, right? 
I would uh, it's not. safe to eat then. Uh, like it's safe to eat the toilet paper. If you swing that way. Okay, well, I was trying to make sure my, I just don't want to get sick from it. I mean, it, am I good then? Uh, sure. No, I mean, it It, it sound, doesn't sound like legit, so I want to make sure, you know, like I'm not going to get sick. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Cool, then. All right, thank you. I'm going to, you know, I just want to make sure, you know, I, I get this right. Like, you know, because I have it like on a recorded and everything, so, you know, if I get sick, you know, I'll just come after you. I'll, I'll come ask you guys about it. All right, well, I'm busy with the customer, so, uh... Well, I got a lot of shit to do, too, so if you could just move it along, like, I, I'd appreciate that. Red Lion, this is Jordan. Hey, uh, Jordan, which one of the soaps in the bathroom is it that you can eat without getting sick? Um, because they all taste kind of funny to me. What's that? Oh, I had read online that um, at the Red Line you can eat the soap and it won't make you sick. But they all, all there's different soap in the bathroom, the liquid one and the other one, and they both taste funny. Um, is this a joke? No. I only t- I didn't eat a lot of them. I just tasted them because I don't know which one it is that you can eat. I thought you know what oh, one no of no edible soap. I thought oh, one of them will taste like sugar or candy or whatever, but no, they both taste like soap. No. One yeah, tastes like there's shampoo. There's no edible soap here. Okay, then. What? It said online. I read it on the internet, and it said it online. Uh, I'm not sure where you read that, but we. Did oh, it was uh, I there's this lawyer who has a blog that I read. Gotcha. So it's not like it's just nobody. It was from a lawyer. Right. So is it the bar then? Uh, no, we do not offer that. Okay, all right. Um, then what do I do? I come down and get it from you? No, we don't have any of that. We don't have edible soap here. Can I tell you the truth? Because I had told you that I only had tasted it, but I I ate um I ate the bar. Am I am I gonna like am I gonna get sick from it? Uh, I don't know. All right, thank you. Where do I... Should I induce vomiting, then? Uh, that's up to you, sir. Are you playing, like, Nintendo Wii or something right now? What are you doing? <laughs> I am just waiting here at the front desk waiting for something that I can help you with. Did you call a different business and ask them to put you on hold, and then you put that on speakerphone to keep you company? Or I'm trying to figure out that music. <laughs> No, that's just the music that I have playing. Oh, that's the music that they force you to listen to in the lobby. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for nothing. I guess I don't You're know. You're welcome. Do you want to play? Do you want to? Do you want to play Nintendo? At all? Uh, no, I just can't. hang. Do you know? Just hang up. Just hang up on me. It's time for break anyway. All righty. Thank you. Quality and Universal. This is James. Hi James, I'm trying to get like the taste out of my mouth from everything. Um, like, do you have anything uh, at the front there that could kind of help me out with that? Um, I have water. Just the taste. Well, I mean, just to get the taste of you know the taste out of my mouth. Yeah, I got water. I mean, I got water here. I mean, I mean, just water though. I mean, just something to get the taste out of my mouth. That's all I got down here. Maybe some mouthwash. Um, is that going like, to be strong enough? Like, hmm, you know? Yeah, man, I hear you. Yeah, I got some water and some mouthwash, though. It's okay, but I get to, you know, get the taste out of it, you know, because I was, you know, chewing and... Yeah. In the tongue and, yeah, it's all in there. It's all in there. Do you need a toothbrush to clean it with the mouthwash? Well, I mean... It's a start, but I mean, it's, I mean, it got all in there. Oh, yeah. Like, in, just in there, in a, with the teeth, and, yeah. How old are you? How old, how old am I? Yeah. Is that, does that matter? I'm, I'm old. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
what do you want? Like, what do you want my age? Like, that's weird. What do you... I'm old. I'm all old and stuff. <laughs> well, probably older than you. Probably. Does it matter? No. Just wondering. Well, I mean, like, we all... Like, just because I'm old and stuff doesn't mean, like... You know, I mean, it's it all... You know, I... It, I gotta get the taste out of there. Yeah. Yeah. You're being weird. <laughs> okay. I've got some water. You're all giggly and stuff. Talking about getting the taste out of my mouth. That's what you're talking about, homie. Yeah, I wanna get it out of there. It's gross. Ugh, it's getting chewing on. Our... What is it? Everything. From everything oh, today. Real? Everything. Yeah. 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 Look, yeah. if you're not going to help me, I got to go. I mean. All right, well. I've... It's down here if you need it, man. Hey, thanks. I got to go. Okay. Jims? Yep. Now you're leaving a bad taste, though, is the problem. Oh. Do you do, you do anything... Exciting at all? Mm. Like a trick maybe or something you could do real real good for I don't want to cry here. Oh, so I don't want you to cry either, man. Thank you. Um Tell me a I've fact. Got a joke? Or, you tell you, oh god. No, tell me a fact instead. A fact? Alright. Um I got you. Do I have a second to think? No, you don't. Jimmy Jones. Hey, um, I had come through to get some food and stuff, and then when I got home, um, my wife had, like, yelled and screamed at the sandwiches. Um, is there any way we can remake them? I don't really want to um, eat them now. Give me a minute. Uh, what's the check number? I don't have like the receipt or anything, but I have the sandwiches, and I, you can you can see where she yelled at him, and I I don't want to get into our domestic stuff or any of that, but just you yelled know, at him? yeah. She it's came squ- in and yelled at people. Oh no 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 no! When I got home with the food. Give me a minute here. She's screaming at the sandwiches. Uh, how long ago was this order? Like uh twenty, like because I had to talk, you know, I had to talk to her, and we were. We had a long talk, maybe like a half an hour uh, since I got home, so like 45. Uh, and it was a walk-in order? Well, she was crying is the thing, and that's why I had to stop what I was doing. Because when someone starts crying, you got to stop what you're doing and deal with it. It's always a serious issue, you know? No, I mean you came in and placed I've never, like, it's not like she would just cry to get her way or anything, you know? Sir, I'm asking, did you come into the store to place the order? Yeah, well, I came in to get the sandwiches, if that's what you mean. How was the order actually placed? Was it a pickup? Did you Well, I got in? them. I got them from there, that's for sure. And I took them home, and then that's when she no, starts sir, tearing into me, you, and she's sir, yelling, sir. and she's yelling, sir, and she's I'm screaming, you, and, then, and then she come... turned on the sandwiches. Sir, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, literally go ahead. just asking you, did you walk into the store and place the order at the register? I came in to get them, yeah. I came in and I got them from you okay. guys inside the store. Like, I didn't have them delivered. Yes, correct. Okay. But that's, that's when, after she yelled at me, she's yelling at the, like, right at the food, and uh, you can't. And then, what was the sandwiches? I don't know. She's in charge of that. I, I, I can't do anything unless I know what they were. I'll they bring were. them in then. Thank you. And then, I don't know if you can, can you double bag them so that they won't get, like, all yelled at anymore? I don't, um... If you bring them in, I can figure it out. I and then I yeah, so a way to keep it because I don't want to get a scre- like screams on them like that. Yeah, we're the store on Wentworth Parkway Highway Nine next to Top. I know, I know. Thank you. Th- I said thank you. Yes, sir. Well, I'm, we close in thirty minutes, so I better uh, hurry then. Uh, sorry, fifteen minutes. Thirty. Yes, can we can you wait for fifteen then? Because you said it first. I, I can do. F- I can do 20. 20, okay. So 25 then, really, with traffic. I can do 20. 25 with traffic then, we'll say. Thank you. I'll be down. 20, sir. 25, okay, thank you. In 20 minutes, I'll leave to go down there. Tim, call Jim Jones. How can I help you? 
Hey there, Jimmy Johns. Uh, what's going on with these uh, sandwiches? I brought them home, and the wife's been screaming at them ever since. What was that? I got these sandwich sandwiches here from the, from that Jimmy John. I, I'm think I'm gonna need a refund on them. What sandwiches? You know the sandwiches down there. You got there. I picked them up there down to, to 15 minutes ago. All right. You uh picked them up. Can I have your name? Yeah, you can. But you, you can you tell my wife to shut up too? Cause she's screaming. Hello? <laughs> I think she's gone. Hey, lady, why are you being a bitch? <laughs> this went well. Hey, hey. This is his supervisor, lady at uh, Jimmy John's. What are you doing? Hey! Oh, okay. Jimmy John's. Okay, we got a problem, because my girlfriend got sandwiches from there, and she got them home here to the apartment, and she took one look at them, and she went straight in the bathroom, and she's been crying for like 10 minutes now. And she won't tell me what's wrong with the sandwiches. Do you guys have, a, like, a problem with the ingredients, or is there something going on down there? Um, what's the address for your Why delivery, she, bro? No, 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 no. She came down there and got them. The 265 Peachtree Center. Peachtree. At, at the hotel? Yeah, well, I, okay. I just, I don't understand why she's crying. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with your order. Do, do you know where it was delivered to? I don't know why you keep saying delivered. You came in. You had a pickup order? I don't know. I'm not in charge. She comes home. She's like, oh, I got Jimmy John's. And she opened the bag. Bro, and she just, bro, she's, bro, bro, bro. I'm trying to help you out. Please don't yell. Well, I'm, I'm trying not, to figure this he, out. Does she have a pickup or a delivery? She's got a problem. I don't know if it's an emotional problem or if something else happened at work today. or, or so, She won't tell me anything, though. She's in the bathroom with the door locked now. She just, oh, Jimmy John's, Jimmy John's. And I don't know why. Okay. That's what I'm saying. If you could help me figure that out rather than asking me all these address questions, I would appreciate it. Okay, bro. I don't even know how to begin helping you if I can't find an order. Let's start at the beginning. Can we start at the beginning? Yeah, for sure. Let's start at the beginning. All right. Thank you. Go ahead. So I'm to get to the bottom of whatever is going on with your order, I need Mm -hmm. to know if you got a pickup or a delivery. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. She's locked in the bathroom. Hmm. Did she come to 400 West Peachtree? She's in Peachtree. Like, do you yeah. know? The, it was on Peachtree. Yeah. Was it near? Um, is near Civic Center, like downtown? It was. It was like by a. Pe- it was by a different Peachtree. It was by a different Peachtree. There's like pe- there's. I'm not from around here, and there's Peachtree all over the place. Yeah, I understand that, bro. Okay. Um, so yeah. So where we're at down here. Um, our like, address is 400 West like Peachtree. Peach, it's like Peachtree, 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 like that, whenever you're driving. And it's so goddamn, it scares me a little. I understand. Thank but you. But, yeah, the other Jimmy Johns, they also have a Peachtree address as well. That's what I was trying to figure That's what out. I'm saying, though, yeah. But then she's crying now. So I don't know if you ran, did you run out of napkins down there? Uh, no, not, not that I know of. Everything has been in. Well, okay, been listen, I'm Jimmy trying Jones. to be cool with you, but she's been in the bathroom for... Quite some time now. Okay. And She's I'm crying. She won't come out. out. And it's it's turning into a thing where it's starting to feel like it's my fault or like I'm doing something wrong or I'm not doing good enough. And I'm trying my best here, and you're not helping me. I'm doing my side, okay? I'm doing I my side the I same as all I always you, do. Bro. You're not doing your side. You should do your side better. I'm doing my side. You're not doing your side. I don't know how to help you, bro. I'm Please help me. I'm trying to figure me. out what's, what's, what's going on, like... I don't, you can't even tell me what store she went to or what the problem 400 is. 400 so Peachtree. So you went to 400 West Peachtree. Peachtree. Okay. That's the store That's the store you called right now. That's where I've been today. So, so then everything's what? good, and I don't know why you're giving me the third degree about addresses and peach trees. I know what I'm doing, apparently. 
Okay, bro. You're starting. You're starting to treat me. Okay, you're starting to treat me the same way that she's treating me. But instead of instead of being in a bathroom, locked in a bathroom, instead of being locked in a bathroom at me, you're we just being a, eight minutes, you're just bro. being a dick. You're just being a dick to me. So why is my girlfriend I'm, I'm crying? I'm really trying to figure out how to help you, bro. I don't even know who your girlfriend is. I'm the delivery driver. I answered the phone because we're still open. I'm trying to figure okay. out how to help okay. you out. Let's both but, all right, take a step back. Take a deep breath here. Let's get through this together. We got it. Because I, I don't know what to do to get her out. I'm about to kick in the bathroom. I don't want her calling 911. I don't know what to do. Brother. Yes. If she came in the foreign or West Peace Street, we've only had customers for like uh, like the, maybe the past hour. And then we were in a large group with a bunch of friends and stuff. Okay. There were a few chicks trying to go in the bathroom. But so other she's than going that, in the ba- So you're telling me she was going in the bathroom. So you're saying she was going in the bathroom with other girls. Uh, no, I'm, I'm saying like there was a line of women trying to get into the restaurant. In the it's a single the restaurant. So, they, so okay. yeah, it's a Is single it, restaurant. I've, I don't ever, I never go, I never fuck with Jimmy John's. I don't ever go in there. Um, hmm. is it like, are they going in there to get, are they doing drugs in there maybe? Uh, no. That uh, could explain why it, she's been emotional though. I'm saying if she's in the bathroom taking ecstasy or cocaine or anything, I don't know how that would treat her mind when she got home. Do you know if she washed her hands? Uh, I'm I'm not sure, bro. Not exactly have, sure. Okay. No. Do you have one of those signs up about washing your hands? The, oh yeah, yeah. We have one of those signs in there. Yeah. So she, okay. So she washed her hands then. Mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. Right, thank you. And then I'll you'll hold. Can you hold open for like ten minutes and I'll come down there with her? We'll still be here in 10 minutes, I suppose, if you want to come Okay, and if she's all, she's freaking out and crying and stuff, you're not going to call the cops on me, right? I mean, I'm not going to call the police because someone's crying in your presence, no. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, I, if you're going to come down, I guess we'll see you in a few well, minutes I don't, or so. And you'll, and you'll get her to stop crying. That's the long and the short of it, though, because I don't want to waste my time coming down there if you're not going to be able to get her to stop crying. I can't I mean, put up with this know. shit all night. I don't want to have to, what, I don't, what, do I kick her out of my apartment? Brother, I don't I don't know what you're supposed to do, but um, I do I can tell you that I don't know how to get a grown woman to stop crying. I'm not sure exactly what you want me to do by bringing her back here. Well, I thought maybe you could talk some sense into her. I don't know. I mean, most I can do is give her a cookie, maybe a bag of chips, send her on the way because I'm trying to go home. You give her a hug. A hug? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I'm giving you I why her boy I'm giving you permission. I mean, it's it's cool. I don't I don't really hug people. All right, man. Thank you. All right, man. Have a good night. All right, I love you, bro. All right, you too, bye. Thank you for calling Heavy West. I may help you. Oh boy. Okay. I there's been a, a, a little bit of a screw up. Um, I was down there. Um, like we we just had left maybe 10, 15 minutes ago from. I was shopping there with my mom. And um, I was, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's, it, 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 it's my fault. I was on the phone. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I went home with the wrong mom and um, she, she's been cool about it, uh, but she didn't want uh-huh. me to go in her house. So I'm just waiting outside. It was when we were driving up. I'm like, you know, cause I live, me and my mom live in a house and this is an apartment. And so I'm like, whoa, you know, what are we doing? Why are we going to an apartment mom? Uh-huh. And then I was, oh, I'm like, oh, that's not my mom. Um, oh. Yeah. So is, did you know what? Is my mom down there? Because she's not answering her phone now. Yeah, what's her name? It's mom. What was that? M- mom. That's what I call, that's what she responds to when I'm talking to her. Okay, um, give me just a second. Okay? What are you going to, well, what are you going to do? Because I, um, I don't, I'm... this mom, I didn't even ask her name. Uh, this mom said she'd drive me back there, but only once we got everything sorted out. She told me to call High V and to wait outside until I got it done. Okay, um. Do you know her name though? The the woman you were supposed to go home with? My mom, yeah, it's mom. Yes. Okay, give me just a minute. What are you doing? Hey, this is Logan. Mom? What's going on? Mom? No, I'm I'm this is a mom. What's going on? Okay, I well, I had gone home with the wrong mom. What do you mean the wrong mom? I was there shopping with my mom. Uh, I'm like, like I'm almost, I'm in, like almost 40. I'm in my late 30s. I don't want you to get the wrong idea and think that I'm yeah, some type I, of a, a, fine, helpless, a helpless child or anything. Uh, but I did go home with the wrong mom. 
So, so um, you went with the wrong woman? Who the is wrong not your mom. Mother. Yeah, she's not my mom. I don't know how, when, I don't know when or where. Because I was on the phone, and my mom's always, well, my real mom, she's like, well, this mom too. They're always, both the moms are always telling me not to be on the phone so much. And because I'm always looking down at the phone and, you know, playing little, I got this one where you, you spin the dice to, to, like, do a board game, but there's, you know, there's, yeah. no, there's no point to it. You just always keep moving. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm playing that game, and I'm playing one where you you're, you're make you make a pile of leaves, and then you blow them away. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm you know I'm making leaves, I'm rolling dice, I'm doing all these different things, and then that's somewhere in there is when I got switched on moms. Somewhere in there. Okay. Um, it it so... wasn't until we were already in the car. Um, I guess it was the wrong car. Now that I'm thinking about it, it wasn't the right car. So, so did, did the women? So the woman who took you is mom, she with you now? Mom. Oh yeah, no, she mom? once because when uh, I, me and my mom we live in a house, um, but this mom like lives in an apartment building. So when we're going into the uh, when the uh, we're pulling up on the building and I'm like, oh wait a minute, you know, like this isn't right. And then that's when I saw that it wasn't my mom. And so she let me come in the building, but not um, not past the lobby. So she told me to Not wait in the bad. lobby. Yeah, and I got to ring her room when I'm ready to get a ride back to the Hy-Vee to, if you have my mom there. Okay. Do you know your mom's number? Uh, she's not. I, I do, but she's not answering the phone, and I'm not supposed to give her number to strangers. Okay. Um, hmm. Is anyone in the lobby with you? Oh, no. I'm just in the uh, – it's in her, like, her building lobby. Okay. Do you know There's, what building you're in? No, I don't. There's comings and goings. Like, pe- you know, there'll be a man or a woman or something will walk by at, at a time. Okay. Um, but, no, there's no one else. No one's hanging out with me or anything. The other okay. mom, when she's taking her groceries upstairs. Okay. Um, What's your name? I'm supposed to buzz 506 when she's re- when I'm ready for a ride back to the high V. Mm-hmm. But uh, w- what's your name? Uh, What's your name? I'm Logan. Okay. My name's Brad. Bren. Brett. 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 Okay. Um. So, could I get your mom's phone number, Brett? No, thank you. I don't um, want to end up. Well, I don't want to end up on um like getting phone calls every every week telling me which which meat is on sale or something. Oh no, I I can just call her from my personal phone, Brett. It, I won't use Hyvie's number if that. Okay. Well, make wait. You hold on. If you give me your number, I could three way it into this call, and then it'll be like a three way call. Uh, but how will I get in contact with her, Brett? She's not picking up the phone. I gotta, I gotta trade back. I gotta, this mom said she'll drive me back to the high V. How about let's just do that. I'll have this mom drive me back to the high V. Um, and then you got, you can try and, you can call my mom or whatever. I can just stay there overnight or whatever. Do you guys yep, have a, that, that you have works a night crew? Right. You have a night crew? Yeah. yeah, we do. Okay. All right. Eventually my mom will come back. I mean... Or I could take a bus or call a cab or an Uber or something. You know, I am a yeah, grown adult. I am a grown want, adult. I could do any of yeah. those things, you know. But uh, yeah, and, if you, but other other than that, I'll probably just have this mom drive me back to the high V then. Okay, that works, Brett. All right, thank you. Yep, have a good night. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Hi, it's a beautiful day at the Pacific Street High V. How can I assist you today? Hi, um, I was down there with my mom, and um, I, I, I guess this is kind of embarrassing, but um, I really wasn't paying attention, and I didn't realize until I got home. Um, you this, didn't pay this, attention. This isn't this isn't my mom. This is just a lady. Oh. Um. Like, is there like a spare mom like hanging around down there? Not as far as I'm aware. I mean, I didn't really know she got in the car, and she's kind of half out of it anyway. I mean, so, I mean, it's just, I, I you know, I didn't really didn't know. Call your mom on your phone and have her come pick you up. Uh, no, I'm near, ma- ma'am, I'm I'm grown. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm not, she came with me. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay. Um, we haven't had any. Just like a spare one, one just lost. like a spare mom, just. Like a spare mom just kind of wandering around? I haven't noticed any. Huh. Well, I mean, this one's not bad or any... I mean, it's... maybe I don't know. Maybe we switched one with somebody and the other person hasn't realized... Yeah, you know, maybe they didn't realize either. I'm not sure. I think your best bet would be to come back and try and locate your mother. Well, I mean, if, 
I mean, you haven't seen her, though, right? Not as far as I'm aware. Here, now you're good. I mean, all right, I could... What do I do with this one, then? I couldn't tell you. I mean, because I have a mom. Like, there's, like, it's a mom, per, like, you know. But, like, what do I do with this one if I find, like, the, you know, if I find the original one now? I couldn't tell you. I don't need two of them. I, I mean, I really don't need two of them. Hang, like, I, I just, honestly like, like, couldn't tell you. Just bring her back to the store and just, like, turn her loose I, in the store? I, I, I don't. All right, I, guess, I mean, if, if you're cool with that, I mean, I'll just cut her loose in the store. With time to fully counsel our patients, oh. <laughs> you can call in for a brief... Tony Rook, hy how can I help you? Hey, my dad said he was dropping me off at the hy V, um, but I don't know where the hell I am now. And he left. Uh, so, so I guess I'm lost, or I don't know. Where are I, you? I don't know. Like, you guys have a sign like that says hy V and, like, a parking lot and, like, lights and everything, right? Yeah. I don't see any of that. So I don't know where my dad left me, and he's... I already tried to call him. I've tried to call him three times before I called the store. Uh, and he is not picking up, so I don't know. Um, I. Is my dad. Not... Th- is he there? Like, is there. Or. What's your dad's name? Oh, I just call him Dad. Um... I think it's like Mark or Mike or M- Mife or something. I just always call him Dad, so I don't know. Monsoon or mice, mice, moose, or I don't know. To be honest with you, I, I don't know. I know it's on his ID. If you check his ID, it'll be on that. I don't know who I would look for. Oh, it's Lawrence, I think. No. No, that's not it. Never mind. But, um, so anyway, I'm more concerned with how do I, like, from, okay, from where I am now, like, North, east, west, south. Like, which way do I go? I'm not sure where you, where. Well, I'm not okay. Sure where I can. Are. I have a compass app. I can pull up a compass. But when I go to like Google Maps for right now, um, it's it's saying no, and I don't like. There's no landmarks around here. Um, where well, maybe, are you? I don't know. Maybe I'm on the in the loading. I uh, maybe I'm in the loading dock. Or what is the? Do you have a loading dock? Or what's a loading dock? Yeah, we do. Okay. This is more like, um, I don't want to say a field, but um, yeah, I think that would be the best description. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. There's there's like one street light, but I can't see, like, in both directions, I can't see another one. I think you should probably um, try calling your dad. Yeah, I called him like okay. five times. He's not picking up. I was thinking maybe he dropped me off here and then he went into the store first and I'm supposed to follow him in or is he, that's what I was saying. Is he in there? And do you, do you I, know what, do you know what his name is at all? Because I sure don't, it turns out. Melvin, Marvin, or Mel, no, that's the guy from uh, Looney Tunes. I'm sorry. Melvin, yeah, I'm sorry. Larson. I don't know. I can't help you with that. You're going to have to call the cops. Well, I don't. I do have a little. I have a little bit of weed on me, so I don't want to get in trouble for that. Okay, is it, are you trying to be funny? Or no, I, I'm no, no, I'm lost. I'm not scared, and I don't want you to be scared. I'm trying to be brave. I'm going to be brave through this, but I would appreciate if you could help me because it is pretty. It's dark. It's dark, you know. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to help you with that. Just tell me where the high V is from where I am or which way I, I go. I don't know where you are, I don't, I, sir. I don't mind. Even if it's going to be a mile or two, I don't mind walking. I just don't want to be walking in the wrong direction. I don't know where you are. <sighs> okay. If, well, I, the... if I don't know your exact location, I can't tell you how to get here. I pulled up Google Maps. It says no data. Is your phone data on? Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you on my phone right now, yeah. Well, is your data on, though? It says no. I turned on Google Maps, and it said no. Maybe it didn't say data. I'm sorry. I was trying to use computer words to sound smart, but um, Google word, Google said no. Google just said no. Okay, well, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to help you with that. If You're going to just have to call the cops if you're lost. On my dad? Call the cops. 
Well, I don't. Okay. Well, I'll call. I could call the cops on my dad if you think it's a crime what he did to me. Um, but I don't want to call the cops on myself because they might search me. I'm saying, and then they'd find the mar- marijuana. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not sure how you want me to help you. I okay. I know this isn't something you usually do, and I would, I'm only asking for this for a special one-time favor, um, for f- just the one time this year. Is there a way you can come and pick me up, maybe? I dr- personally cannot come and pick you up. I don't even know who you are, mm. and I'm starting to think that this is like this is a joke. What shit? Well, it's not funny though. I know it's not funny, but I can't tell if you're being serious or not. So okay, so what, do you do you think I should call 911 then? Is this an emergency? I think you should call the cops if you're that lost. Well, I just not it's not sure. that I'm it's not that I'm lost. It's just that I don't know where where I am or how I'm going to get back to where that I know where I am. And I don't know where oh. my da- and I don't know I have no idea where my dad went. I got no idea. He drove away when he drove away. He did go pretty quick. Let me ask you this. You guys got a night crew? You do have a night crew there, right? Hello? Hello? Hi, um, is this the front desk? Yes. Oof, okay, you promise not to freak out. Swear to God, I will try my best. Do you have a first yep. aid kit? Or wait, a better question is, do you? How do you? How do you know if if you need stitches? Okay, what have you done? Oh, I'm just wondering, like if, because if it's gonna heal up on its own, I don't want to cause any trouble. No, I need to know what has happened, sir. Well, I'm just wondering about it if, if it'll heal if if you know. Do you don't you don't have a me, like a medical kit or anything, right? No, I do not. But if you're bleeding, you need to you need to get help. I need to be careful not to get it on the linens. I'm not worried about the linen. Are you bleeding? I don't want I don't want to incriminate anything. Oh God! And what room are you in? I again the Fifth Amendment, please. I'll plead on that. This is the kind of stuff I have to deal with on a regular basis. Wait, who are you? Who's the man? Wait, is there is there a man there? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Jesus. I'm talking to Jesus. Oh, I thought you hung up on me. No, I'm praying for you. Oh, thank you. Um, is that and you think just with the prayers and um, I I have some regular bandages. I'm gonna hang up. Well, please don't do that. You need to tell me where you're at. I'm I'm in the bathroom. I'm over the toilet so I don't get blood on the linens. Linens. Thank you for calling Econo Lodge Hoover, Alabama. You go. Wasted. Wasted. Econo Lodge. Okay. Question about the linens. About what? Um, does, are you going to get mad like, if there's a blood stain? Like, you know, like, is that a problem? Like, uh, you know, on the, you know, on the, on the bed sheets? And, and stuff like that if there's a little you know just I don't think I need a first aid kit or anything like that I just you know I, I am I going to get charged extra for that uh, which room are you in like for you know like for using like a first aid kit I mean I don't think I need a first aid kit but if I were to use one kind of charge like a first aid charge is there a first aid charge which room are you in no, 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 you're not, you, I don't want to, you know, like, you, the fee, you know. I I need to know the room first. I know, I need to know the, like, the, the money. How am I going to pay for this? I I cannot say you anything until I know the room. Well, I can't say you to, like, how, how, many, how much it's going to cost me. I don't know. Well. Maybe nothing. We, I think you know, yeah, oh, maybe nothing. Yeah, because what do you mean, like, maybe? I don't know the room number. I don't know what room are you in. What do you mean, maybe? Is this, like, negotiable? Like, it, well, I what if I'm that real? I got, management. If, I'm, if I'm hurt more, 
Does it cost less or cost more? I just have to ask management. What? I got to ask my management. Look, listen, you're not really helping it. I, I mean, if I got to hurt myself more so I don't, to avoid a fee, I mean, then that's what's what I got to do. I mean, but you just got to you got to come clean with me right now. I, I, I honestly don't know. You got to tell me up heard, front the facts. I have never just heard tell me the facts kind of thing before. I have just tell me the facts. Anything. Just tell me. Just tell me this. You know this. You know don't. Just no lies. Just tell me the facts. I I I am telling you. I never heard this kind of question before, so I don't know what to say. Oh. Um. So so we'll just go with no. We'll go with the no then. Okay. We'll go with no. No. So it's not allowed. I will tell them that you how said no. I, how can I help you? Okay, I'm going to tell them that you said no. How can you I said help? absolutely not. Why did you call yeah, I'm me? going to tell them. Well, you said no. How I, can I? Yeah. Help you? Why did you call me? I'm going to tell them that you said no. I'm going to hang up if I'm, you don't want to answer. I have to hang up on you because I got to tell them that you said no. You call a lot. How can I help you? Hey, um, what's this guy in the parking lot? And it's like, uh, it's like a shitty white Hyundai or something. What's his deal? <sighs> Hello? The, the guy, this guy in the parking lot. He's like, he's like looking at me, and he's he's calling. He's like, what what are you doing, bitch? Like that. And I uh, I was like, w w what's his problem? <sighs> uh, what room number you are in? I'm not. I'm not in the room right now. I'm, I'm like running around. I'm running around his car right now. I'm just running in circles. It circles around his car right now. <sighs> well, if you're not staying here, then I can't. I'm, st I'm staying not here. Stay. I'm staying here. I'm just not in the room right now. <sighs> What's your room number? I'm out in the parking lot. I'm in the parking lot. <sighs> What's your room number? Uh, two ten. <sighs> your room is two ten. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I didn't even rent two ten. Where are you at? Are you at Econo I'm in the parking. I'm in the parking lot. I'm in the parking lot. Yeah, Connell Lodge. Yeah. What, what, are you staying in the hotel or are you not staying what? here? Sir, why why are you being a bitch? Just just help me out here. Would you call okay, then you have to call county. What? What's your name? English, Tell please. me your name. I'm sorry? My name's Brett. What's name's your Brett. name? My name's Brett. Bleh. What's your name? Blip Bleh. Bread. It's bread. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to run around this guy's car. He's looking at me through all the windows. He's trying to look at me. But what? Are you in the parking lot? But what, are you staying in the hotel or not? Staying? Yeah, what yeah, 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 I am. Yeah, yeah, I am. But I'm in the parking lot right now. Okay, but Should what's like, your room number? Well, what does that have to do with it? I'm in the parking lot. Okay, then call uh, call should number I, one. Should I grab? If you're not, should I grab him and bring him up hotel? to the room? If you're not staying in the hotel, you're not allowed I am, to be in the I hotel. I am. Then give me I'm your room number. I'm not in it right now, but I am. What's your room number? <sighs> Fifteen. Thank you for calling Connell Lodge. Oh, it's is it me? Is it my turn to talk to you or what? Hello. You, hi. Is what is it now to talk to you? Is it my turn now, or are you going to talk more? Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Is this the front I'm good, desk? how are you? I lost my shoes. Um, do you have them there at the front? I don't. I had them on the, um, in the hallway, and then boom, they're gone, like that. In the hallway? I don't know. I'm, I'm all turned around. What's my, what is my room number? Um, I'm not I'm not sure. sure. I'm not sure. Don't you have a computer? Yeah, what's your name? I, what do you, like, for my government name, or what? The name that you checked into the room with? Scotty. Now what are you going to tell me, that I'm not in the computer? Hello? Hello? Hi. And what's that last name? I'm not, okay, I don't want to know about all of those things. Did you figure out what my room number is, at least? And then that way we'll know that much. No, I don't know your room number. Well? 
Type it in. Look it up. Come on. Let's go. Listen, you took my ID when I checked in, okay? So you mm-hmm. have all of my information from my ID. You have my, my name and my social security number, my address and my shoe size and everything. So I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Why you, you what? You don't have, you have bad information systems or what do you have? The only thing I can look up is your name. And you and have you didn't that. tell me your and last you ha- name. Well, I gave you my ID when I checked in. Yes, but there's okay, then what, people here. What's the point of me giving you the ID then if you're not even going to fucking write the information down or something? Or every time I call, you're asking me 16 different questions off of it. You've only called me one time. That you know of. Thank you. Listen, what are you doing? Trying to figure out what room you're in. So am I. And it would help. Okay, there's a chance, and I really don't mean to put this on you, and I don't want to make you upset, and I don't want to make you cry. But there is a chance that I never even got an actual room number. Mm Mm-hmm. So that might be on you. Okay. I'm willing to let it slide if you are, but other than that, you know. What are you doing right now? Are you playing with blocks? No. It sounds like you're playing with blocks, like wooden blocks. Thank you for calling Connor Lodge. Hey there, sir. I had a question about the um, linens in the room. Yes. Uh, so how good are the linens at filtering? At what? Filtering. I um, don't know how, what you mean by that. Like how big are the pores? Are they good at filtering different substances through them? Or are they better at just holding things within them? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, I just I have a bunch of chemicals and I was gonna try and process them, um, and I was thinking maybe you could use some of the linens for for filtering purposes. No, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I just found the raw chemicals out in the parking lot, and I didn't want to have the raw ones, so I thought I'd process them a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 If you. <sighs> Well, let's just do a hypothetical real quick. Like, if you were out in the parking lot and you found some chemicals and brought them back to your room, like, what what would you do next, do you think? Um, I'm not sure. Well, you know, just, just off the top of your head. You know, you, you found some nice, you know, chemicals. You didn't have to pay for them. Nobody claimed them. They're yours. But, you know, what what are you going to do with them? Probably leave them where they're at. Well, let's say, like, one was a strength potion and one was, like, a healing potion. <laughs> May I help you? Hey, um, how do I know if a cut is deep enough that I would need stitches? Sorry? Oh, is this the front desk? Yes. How would I know if I need to go to get stitches at a doctor's house? Sorry, sir. I cannot help you with that. Well, I'm staying here, and maybe I'm hurt. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm okay. You know, I'm not scared. Are you scared? I'm not scared. But you can go to emergency room if you want. Do you have a, well, do you have a Band-Aid I could put on it? Oh, I can Jesus. You... What if I get blood on the linens? Sir, oh, I'm God. not a doctor. I cannot I cannot guide you on that. I'm not well, a doctor. Well, do have I heard someone on TikTok, they said to just put glue in it and to glue it shut. Do you have any glue? They said to do that on Facebook and on TikTok. Sir, I don't have any idea about that. And then they were if using If you want bandaid, making, you can come to the front desk and I can give you the bandaid. And you'll put glue into my cut. And then they were using the glue to make like glitter slime on TikTok and on and on Facebook. I don't have no glue, sir. Okay. Well, I'll glue it shut. I'll glue it shut, and you can tape it shut. Um, do you have staples? 